Well, I'm John Sasser. I'm with SEBI Data Center Properties. We are in Intergate Quincy in Quincy, Washington. One of the benefits of indirect evaporative cooling in this environment is we have those two separate airstreams. We have the inside data center airstream and the outside scavenger airstream. We're never pulling in outside air uh, in order to do cooling, which, which is different than direct evaporative cooling. In direct evaporative cooling, you're actually pulling in the outside air, and we wanted to avoid that here. We wanted to have those airstreams separate to preserve the air quality inside the data center. So there's the, the data center airstream, which passes through the inside of an air-to-air -air heat exchanger, and uh, it just recirculates through there. So it picks up heat in the data center, in the servers, that heat goes then back into the air handler, that air goes through an air-to-air -air heat exchanger. If it's cool outside or cold outside, and we found that almost 50% of the time, it is cool enough outside uh, for this, it just, it's just a dry air-to-air -air heat exchanger. So you're not adding water, you're not running mechanical refrigeration, it's just a dry air-to-air -air heat exchanger. If that doesn't get the discharge temperature from the air handler that you're looking at, you have to add moisture. So you add moisture to the scavenger airstream, which again is not coming in contact with the data center airstream, and that brings the temperature down to where it needs to be. So between the dry air-to-air -air heat exchanger and the evaporative cooling, in our facilities here, we find that 98% of the time, we don't have to run any mechanical cooling. In that 2% of the time, where it's the, the hottest summer afternoons, we run trim DX cooling that brings it down to the discharge temperature. But we still don't have to run as much DX cooling as you would in a traditional data center air, air conditioning system. It's just trim DX, so it's 25% of what you would in a traditional uh, air conditioning system because all the time we're benefiting from that evaporative cooling system. Since we don't need as much power, even in our worst circumstances for, for cooling, we're actually able to downsize generators, downsize switchgear, downsize copper feeders, and spend less money when we're building our data centers. I'm Ryan Bebout. I am the operations manager for SABE's Intergate Quincy campus here in Quincy, Washington. Very often, data centers operate at IT loads that are lower or even significantly lower than the design IT load capacity. We call this part load. We found that the Muncher's indirect evaporative cooling units operate very well in such conditions um, with their motorized dampers and DC scavenger fans. They're able to really dial in the discharge air temperature uh, to the, the set point that we want it at and um, they do so very efficiently. In all of our partly loaded data centers, the annualized PUE is less than 1.2. We have experienced both summers and winters here in Quincy that have exceeded the design outside air conditions and what we found in those conditions is that the Munters units are able to maintain the temperature in the inside the data hall well within the bounds of our service level agreements. Obviously that exceeds our expectations and needless to say we're very pleased with that. So we've we've found uh, excellent uh, results from this. Our average annual power utilization effectiveness in our most efficient facility here is 1.13. We found that the Munters air handlers that we put on our facility meet or exceed all of our expectations um, and that's put a lot of faith that, that I have uh, for, for Munters and their ability to engineer quality products and build quality products.